Hello guys, this is Dr. Krishna. So uh, to our podcast today, uh, let us welcome Dr. Deekshit. Thank you so much, sir, for coming. Yeah, thank you for having me. So today we shall be discussing uh, one of the case which uh, we recently got in an emergency department. Okay, so we shall discuss that case with Dr. Deekshit. So first of all, we shall see how the case presented to the emergency department, and later on we shall discuss the details, the diagnosis, right, and uh, what is responsible what is the etiology and finally the treatment plan for that so basically uh, let me read out the case for you so recently a 56 year old man uh, presented to the emergency department so he is basically having very severe headache right and he is also having fatigue and generalized malaise his symptoms are associated with neck stiffness and nausea okay so physical examination is significant for nuchal rigidity there is nuchal rigidity and this patient is having an inability to extend at knee while the hips are flexed at 90 degrees. Okay. So a lumbar puncture was performed and cerebrospinal fluid was taken and which demonstrates an elevated opening pressure, elevated protein as well as decreased glucose. Okay. So obviously there is leukocytosis also in the CSF. So we have done the gram strain of that CSF. Within the gram strain, we found there are lancelet shaped gram positive cocci. So, this is basically the case which presented to the hospital, right? So, now let us discuss with uh, Dr. Deekshit the further investigations, what we have to do, or what organism he might be suspecting by listening to this case. Based upon clinical findings, I suspect the case is about streptococcus pneumonia. Why? Because there is a neck stiffness. And moreover, it is a lancet shaped organism. Okay. So based upon the clinical findings, uh, you told it is streptococcus pneumonia, right? Yes. So can you tell me what are the properties and how many properties we have? Yeah, sure. So basically, uh, there are five properties. First one is alpha hemolytic. Second one is encapsulated. Third one is optogen sensitive. And the fourth one is quilling reaction pass two. And fifth one is it contains IgA protease. Okay. So can you please tell me regarding this streptococcus pneumonia? Uh, what are the most important pathological conditions that are associated with this? Uh, there are four conditions associated with this organism. Coming to the first one, it is meningitis. Okay. And the second one is otitis media, which is the most important condition. And the third one is pneumonia. And the fourth one is sepsis. Okay. So, doctor, tell me if there are any symptoms that are seen in the patient with streptococcus pneumonia. Yeah. There are few symptoms associated with this condition. Coming to the meningitis, there will be a headache and uh, neck stiffness. Coming to the otitis media, inner ear pain. And coming to the pneumonia, shortness of breath, productive cough, as well as pleuritic chest pain. Okay. So, in this streptococcus pneumonia, uh, what kind of physical examination findings we see in uh, meningitis? In meningitis, we will see three physical examinations. One is nuchal rigidity. Second one is Brzezinski sign. And the third one is Kernick sign. Okay. Yeah. So, can you tell me what is uh, this uh, Brzezinski sign? Brzezinski sign is when patient is in supine position. Okay. Uh, we should flex the neck of the patient. So, immediately a uh, patient will flex his knees automatically. Okay. So, that is yeah. Brzezinski sign. Yes. Uh, so, can you explain what is Kernick sign? Kernick sign is when patient is in supine position, we have to extend his knees and flex the hip to 90 degrees. Okay. So, automatically patient will feel pain and discomfort. Okay. So, for streptococcus pneumonia, we have conditions like pneumonia, meningitis and otitis media. Do we have any vaccines available in the market? Yeah. For preventive method, there is a vaccine called pneumococcal vaccine in which there are two varieties. One is PPV and one is PCV. PPV stands for pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine and PCV stands for pneumococcal capsulated vaccine. So, do we have any treatment options available for this condition? Yes. In penicillin susceptible pneumococci, we give penicillin or third generation cephalosporins. When it comes to otitis media, we give amoxicillin or amoxiclav. And when it comes to meningitis, we give ceftriaxone and vancomycin. Okay. So, this is up guys. Uh, we have discussed the case scenario. And we have uh, discussed the uh, etiological findings. We have discussed the associated conditions, right? And what are the physical examination findings? How do you diagnose? And what kind of uh, vaccines do you have as well as the treatment? Okay. 
so this is all we'll have for uh, this podcast and uh, thank you so much dr dikshit for uh, sharing your knowledge mm-hmm. so yes anything you want to tell yeah thank you so much and i'm looking forward for the next podcast thank you so much